Hello everyone, this is Chris here, just in case you don't know my name. But if you're my subscriber, you'll obviously know my name. Uh, anyways, this video is a bit of an update um, as to why I have not made a uh, vlog in a while. There's a lot of reasons for that. I have been trying to better myself. I've been volunteering at a, at a shop, getting some work experience. Uh, but I've also been working on this book now. Now that I mentioned book, some people might be automatically switched off and think he sold us out. Now I understand why a lot of people out there are cautious, especially in the UFO community, of those who make books, because there's a lot of disinformation out there. Um, some people just do it for money and just as a as a con artist or something like that. Now, hopefully you won't think I'm any of that, but uh, obviously there's going to be some that will think that and say, oh, you sold out, yeah, but that's not the case, I've not sold out, because all the money, I reassure you, if people do buy this book, and I'm hoping people will, um, it will go towards this uh, project, this UFO uh, ET disclosure project that I have started up in 2016 and um, that is a Facebook group it, it is also a page you could um, you can join it anyone can you can share your experiences uh, however it is in a public uh, it, it, it is a public group so perhaps that might be why some people would not want to post their experiences because it'd be public so I might put it to private, um, depends on what people say in the comments section and what people say in my messages on Facebook. Now, I've been mainly on Twitter nowadays. Uh, I can get a bit political and I think a bit is an understatement. So I've been doing that as well and that's why I haven't been making videos as such. Now. This book will go into great detail about my UFO experiences uh, and my ET encounters. I mentioned what it was like before contact and my beliefs, some of my beliefs before contact and how it's changed my life forever. Uh, some people will say, how can this change your life? Now, that's, that's a silly question because if you're being visited by an extraterrestrial, that gives you more questions than answers. And it will shake your belief system. Whatever religion you're a part, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Christian, especially those two religions, you'd be like, how does this fit into the equation? There's a lot of people who out there who say these aliens are demons. I used to believe that and you'll find out that the first contact that I had I shunned it away and I believed that it was of Satan now I won't go into great detail because that will spoil the book <clears throat> but that's a bit of a taster I don't mention religion all too much because that will turn a lot of people off and trust me it will because it will turn me off as well Um, I don't really like to subscribe to a particular religion but I do believe some religions have truths to it and most of it is just lies so but that's just my belief <clears throat> anyways I talk about my background and even like during contact I tried to put everything in in order of when it happened but that is quite difficult um, I do give a conclusion about it as well towards the end. Um, so far, I have done 40 something pages, which is over 11,000 words. Now, that is not too bad for a first book. I'm not supposed if you can call it a book if it's 40 something pages, it's more like a novella, I think they call it, or a novel. But um, it's up to the author, I suppose. It's, it's, it's a tricky one. 
because the book is a book, right? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's it's quite controversial because there's people saying, oh, once you've reached a certain amount of words and pages, then it's a book. Some people say, well, if it's just if the author says it's a book, it's a book. But anyways, I'll let you decide on that. Um, also, that previous video that I uploaded, you're probably thinking, what on earth is that? It's just a bunch of noises. Well, it's not just a bunch of noises, it's actually something a little bit different. It's, it's supposed to have meaning to it, and it will have a physical and mental effect on you. Some say spiritual. And I can be quite sceptical on this subject, but... Um, it has affected me physically in a positive way, so the must it must have some sort of effect on you. It must be good if it's making me feel good in some way, apart from giving me a headache if listening to it too long. Then it must be good. So use in moderation. Binaural beats are, are known to have helped people with depression and some people with generalized anxiety disorder, like I have. So. Binaural beats isn't too bad, and for those who don't know exactly what a binaural beat is, basically, it's two separate tones, right? One for the left ear, the other for the right ear. But there is the, these two tones are almost the same, but they're not. One is a higher frequency than the other, and then there's going to be a differences. There will be a difference, like a couple of hertz, megahertz in difference, then that would be your base tone. And that and that base tone would be known to cleanse and heal the body in some way. Um, this is an ancient tradition. Or should I say an ancient practice. Um, I think it came from Tibet, from maybe from the Buddhist monks or Hindus as well, I think they also believe in this sort of stuff. But anyways, I'm not an expert. I'll let you decide. Oh, how can I forget? Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a Happy New Year.